Welcome back guys, it's Shalene, your independent, perfectly posh consultant. Welcome to 2019. I am so excited to introduce our brand new core paper, Simply Pamper, for the year of 2019. As we jump into this year, it is super important that I help you understand all the ways that you can share Perfectly Posh simply and easily with your customers. One of my goals this year is to be very simple, so simplify and succeed. Make things easier so that I have more time for fun, more time to share Posh, and more time to interact with you, my fellow consultants. So today, we're gonna talk about the different soaps that we have. We're also going to talk about easy ways to sample them. As the core launches, this is the time to share the new products with our customers. So I wanna share with you how to do that. Now, we've always had the chunk bar soaps. These are the bar soaps you have known, our big chunk bar soaps. And I'm going to review how to simply sample these. Also, this season, we kicked off the brand new So Soapy. Our So Soapy bars are slightly different than our chunks. These are palm oil based, and these have a coconut base. Very, very more soapy. So Soapy kind of fits the, the name of it, but this one's our Brazilian So Soapy. So that's one of the other types of soaps we have. We also have the Snarky. So our Snarky, this was the original, tried and true Snarky. These are our scrubby bar soaps. And again, these take a little slightly different um, approach when sharing samples with them, with your customers. So we're gonna go over all the different ways to sample our bar soaps. Okay, so number one, you need a cutting board. You also need a sharp knife, a microwave, and then we'll start talking about the different kinds of things that you can use to um, package these simply and easily. What I wanna make sure that you understand is how you do a chunk bar soap and how you do a so soapy and how you do the snarky bars. A lot of times with my customers, one of the tips that I give them is if this bar soap's too big for you, if this bar soap you want to be in two different bathrooms, let me share with you how to cut it in half. Now, most of you know our chunk bar soaps are a little bit harder, so we're gonna do the always gonna love you because that one is one I really wanna get on my customers this season as part of our Shea Sisterhood, and it's packed full of amazing Shea ingredients. So this one would be comparable to any of our chunk bar soaps. Put it in the microwave about 15 seconds on one side and 15 seconds on the other. You have to heat any of our chunk bar soaps before you cut them. If you don't, it'll be too hard to go through or it will crumble and not cut right, but you're gonna wanna cut these and microwave them. 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other. You can choose to do them with a regular sharp knife or some people get a little bit more fancy and they'll use like the vegetable cutters that have the little edges to them. Just gets it a little bit more of a fancy look. But like I said, we have to heat these. So I'm going to heat mine up 15 and 15 and be right back here to show you how easily these chunk bar soaps will cut up. Okay guys, it is nice and warm. Can actually, it feels a little bit, it's not gooey. You don't wanna do it too much that it's gooey. You just want it nice and warm so that the knife will easily go through. Now I have my cutting board right here and all I'm gonna do is take the sharp knife and I'm going to cut straight through it. Now when I cut down, I make a larger piece. I would actually suggest 
cutting that in half too. So you're gonna get quite a few samples from your chunk bar soaps when you do it this way. And all of the chunks, the fresh, the uh, this one, always gonna love you, where you've been all my life, those will all need to be heated and cut. Now, as I'm cutting up this one, you can see it right here, I'm going to also cut it again to make it smaller. When you get ready to package these, you're gonna wanna let them sit and cool a little bit, but when you get ready to package these, some of the items that I have found to be the most affordable when doing that is you can go to a Walmart, a craft store, and if you go into the jewelry section, they have jewelry bags. This one's about, um, I think this one might be the two by three, but I usually get the one inch. There's a hundred of them, and they're really pretty affordable. A couple dollars for a hundred of them. So this makes it easy to put your any of the samples right into the sack, right into the sack, and place labels on the front. You can also, with any of these bar soaps, um, if you go to my girlfriend's house, this one is a three by five flat bag with a lip and tape. So this one will actually seal. That's what I've used here on these. Will seal really nice. You can purchase these. These come in um, a set of 102. They have them with designs or without designs. So simple and easy with a chunk is just heat it, 10 to 15 seconds on one side, 10 to 15 seconds on the other side, warm to touch, and your knife should go through it super, super easily and smoothly. There shouldn't be a lot of effort to it. So that is how to cut your chunk bar soap. Okay guys, we have our chunk bar soap all cut up. Our next bar is our So Soapy. Like I said, our So Soapy is made of all the parts of the coconut, shea butter and palm. So it is a softer bar. When you're cutting this one, you actually don't heat the So Soapy bars. You can easily take your knife and cut. It takes a little bit more muscle but cut right through them to make your samples. With the So Soapy bars, I don't worry about cutting at it again. I just go down the bar and cut good enough slivers that they're gonna have quite a few uses off of it. But with the So Soapy bars, you just want a really sharp knife, a nice cutting board, and um, you can go right through them. So that will be for our Brazilian, our beach blanket, or our Sassioma So Soapies. So super easy with our So Soapies, just a cutting. Okay, last but not least, our scrubby bar, our snarky bars. This one too is loaded with shea butter. So you do not, do not, let me repeat, do not want to heat this one in the microwave. It will become a pool of goosh. So you can simply take your knife with this one too. Now, since this one's a wider one, I often cut it down the center first. And you can recommend this with your customers because a lot of times, because this has so much shea butter in it, if someone's to leave it in their shower, and it's under direct one running water, it, it'll get really, really gooey. So I often will recommend that they cut it into pieces and it's also easier to handle. But here it is cut in half. And then what I do is I just take the knife and I continue down cutting it. As you can see, it cuts very nicely, a nice usable bar soap. They'll be able to use this several times and get that exfoliation feel. The other thing I would also show you, so this is the Pampered Chef. I think it's a vegetable cutter is what they call it. But what you do with this one is you'll do the same thing. You'll just go down the line, pretty easy, just to push it. This one doesn't take a lot of force. The So Soapy takes a little bit more spores. But this one becomes a cute little edged soap sample for you to share 
with your customers. So the snarky, just to reiterate this again, does not get heated at all. It's just easily cut with a sharp knife or if you wanna use a more stylish vegetable cutter, that works too. We did it. We have all three bar soaps ready to sample out to our customers. Now, the last thing I would love to talk about, we touched on a little bit regarding the kind of bags to use to package these, but let's also talk about the importance importance of labeling. You always want to make sure you're labeling your products, putting a business card in your products, and these are easy to do that with. Once any heated bar soup soaps cool, you can simply put your business card inside, put the bar soap inside, and make any labels you would want for the front. Easy um, as far as uh, making labels goes, you can simply take a label, write on it what kind of soap it is, put it on the front, and send it to your customers. Don't make this hard. We want to simplify and succeed in 2019. And that is super, super simple. If you want to go up another notch, make it a little bit more special, you can go on to Avery and print off a cute little sticker. This one is of the Brazilian. So the So Soapy we made of the Brazilian. I'm gonna put that on the front of my bag. I'm going to put a, a business card in there and then I will include a So Soapy bar in here. Super easy, super simple. The only difference with something like this that seals, that is more like a Ziploc on the top is the girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend house ones has a, and I'll show you this. This one's got a little bit of style to it. I'm going to use an always gonna love you. I'm gonna slip it in there. I'd also include my business card. And then you simply and easily remove the flap, pull this down, and it's sealed within its own bag. You can, let me find two examples. This one is one that I did launching our 2019 calendar, uh, uh, paper where I made up half price coupons, named what the soap was, and I could simply and easily cut those and put those on the front of my bags. Not hard, you guys, and it's not expensive. The other things that you can do is Avery offers up circles. You can print on these circles, go on to Avery, upload the, the product you need and print onto these as a template. Or they also offer larger sheets of these that you can get more circles on, on a, a, a sheet. So simple, easy. That's what I want us to focus on this year. I'm so excited to see what you guys do with this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Like, follow me so you can hear other tips if you're a consultant or you can learn more about our amazing brand, our amazing opportunity, and of course, our amazing products with Perfectly Posh. Thanks so much for joining me today and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks guys.